In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May our Lord be with you. Amen. Celebrate the day of the feast of the Holy Guardian Angels. We call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to gather all the nations into the peace of your Father's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Come now, word and sacrament. Strengthen us in holiness. Christ have mercy. You'll come again in glory with salvation before your people at the end of time. Lord have mercy. Lord. Now, mighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to our lasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Oh God, in the unfathomable providence, our pleas to send your holy angels to guard us. Hear our supplication as we cry to you, that we may always be defended by their protection and rejoice eternally in their company. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Thus says the Lord, See, I am sending an angel before you, guard you on the way, and bring you to the place I have prepared. Be attentive to him, and heed his voice. Do not rebel against him, for he will not forgive your sin. My authority resides in him. If you heed his voice, and carry out all that I tell you, I will be an enemy to your enemies, and a foe to your foes. My angel will go before you, to the Amorites, Hittites, Perizzites, Canaanites, Hivites, and Jebusites, and I will wipe them out. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial of the Lord has put angels in charge of you to guard you in all your ways. The Lord has put his angels, angels in charge of you to guard you in all your ways. You who dwell in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty. Say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. The Lord has put angels in charge of you, to guard, to guard you in all your ways. For he will rescue you from the snare of the fowler and from the destroying pestilence. With his pinions he will cover you, and under his wings you shall take refuge. The Lord has put angels in charge of you, Guard you in all your ways. His faithfulness is a buckler and shield. You shall not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that roams in darkness, nor the devastating plague at noon. The Lord will say Jesus in charge of you to guard you in all your ways. No evil shall befall you, nor shall affliction come near you in your tent. For to his angels he has given command about you, that they guard you in all your ways. The Lord has put angels in charge of you, to guard, guard you in all your ways. May the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The disciples approached Jesus. And he said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called the child over, placed it in the midst, and he said, Amen, I say to those who turn and become like children, you won't enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest. Whoever receives one such child as this in my name receives me. See that you do not despise my name for the ones. For I say to you that great angels in heaven always will look on the faces of my heavenly Father. The Gospel.
people at this Mass formed the right subset for this feast day. We were a Catholic kid growing up in the, the 60s, and life was different in the 60s. There were two important things they taught you. Pagan babies. My father used to be give all this money for pagan babies, and we never see these pagan babies. And we're paying for these babies, and none of them ever seem to come to our house, or even our neighborhood. Like, all supposed to be laughing now, but that's the truth, and you know it. And guardian angels. They were traditional things that we were taught about constantly. And not with our reason. I mean, the pagan babies, this is the mission month. We try to help the church in far-flung parts of the world. I have a niece who works in Africa. She's in our state department. Is the faith, how is the faith doing there? Those people are just as important as me and you. But the guardian angels reminds us that God's protection over us is, is always part of our life. He's always looking out for us, trying to keep us you know, you know, on the straight and narrow. That does not mean as I think some people think it does, that you can drive while looking at your cell phone, that God's going to stop that other car from coming across the intersection when you go through the red light. It doesn't mean that. Or else there'd be no accidents. There's plenty of them. It means he's spiritually trying to help us stay pure and close to him. Some of us prefer not to take that uh, counsel or that protection. And then we blame God when I sin, no. He helps us, but he gives us the freedom to do elsewise, and many people do. They guard us to the degree they can, or that we will let them. You don't, you don't have to be a kid, a child, to be calling on the guardian angels. We all have one, a God who loves us so much, maybe too much. Let us use his love. Let us bask in his love to stay close to him. Let us stand, my friends, and we'll offer our petitions to Almighty God. The response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, bishops, priests, deacons, and lay leaders, that they be strengthened by the merciful love of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of every nation and state, that they ensure justice for every citizen, rich or poor, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the containment and eventual eradication of the COVID-19 virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who ask us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially P.J. Newley, for whom this man is being loved, may they be in peace with God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, we hear our prayer. Lord God, we beg you to hear our prayers. Keep us under the watchful care of the guardian angels, that our lives may be pure, our hearts true, our love sincere. We make all our prayers to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the offerings we bring before you as we venerate the holy angels. Grace we grant that under their constant protection we may be delivered from present dangers, brought happily to life eternal. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere we give you thanks to our Holy Father, the mighty and eternal God. And to praise you with 
Jonah and your angels and archangels. For the honor we pay the angelic creatures in whom you delight redounds to your own surpassing glory. And by their great dignity and splendor you show how infinitely great you are to be exalted above all things. Through Christ the multitude of angels extol you and praise you. May our voices blend with theirs as we say, Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest.
say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us 